Did you know that up to the Reformation, the church almost universally regarded this, the deuterocanonical books, namely what we would sometimes refer to as the Apocrypha, as useful books to read, and they were included typically really right up until the Reformation in codexes and so on, and they were read often in churches, though they were recognized as not being inspired, but yet still useful to accompany the scriptures to be read alongside of them. Now the Reformation then led to the removal of those books because they weren't inspired and so today we tend to look at those books with suspicion and one of the arguments I think of this book which is quite helpful is that there's actually a place for those books and we could actually learn a bit by reading some of those today. Now we're not saying, and the authors of this book are not saying that they are of equal value to the scripture, but certainly if the early church up to about the 14th, 15th century found these to be useful, well why don't we as well? And so I think that's a really good argument that comes out of this book.